Hello YouTube. Today we'll be learning how to implement one of these activity indicators. It's basically a loading sign that most apps have right built into it. You see this in Safari sometimes. So let's learn how to do this and implement this in one of your apps. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. Let's launch Xcode. I have it right here. Single view application. By the way, these activity indicators are so simple, and uh, this video will be very short. This activity indicator talk is so easy. So, activity indicator mm, YouTube tutorial. YT. Okay. Device family iPhone, and I usually don't check any of these, but if you'd like, you can go ahead and do. running slow here okay this time I want to go to the uh, view control dot uh, H sorry and after this interface thing curly bracket open and type in IV outlet and this time it's uh, the UI activity indicator view semicolon and enter oh we forgot one thing star and let's name it indicator semicolon enter okay and you can change this part because that's just the name of your indicator I'll just type indicator for this tutorial now we also need a label so IB outlet UI label and let's name this label you make a mistake there UI label label semicolon enter and so basically before we move ahead let me just tell you what we're going to be doing when the view loads it's going to show the activity indicator turning 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 and then after a particular time the label is shown so now let's jump right into our view control dot m get into our view did load and let's type in this piece of code right here um we'll need to type in Open bracket, let's go a little up here. Open bracket, self. Now I forgot how this is done. Okay, hold on, I remember. Self, perform selector, perform. Self, perform selector. And in this highlighted section, we'll type in apt selector. And our selector will be our method's name. I'll just name my method. You can name it whatever you want. My method. So that's how it goes. And after this bracket, let's type in with object with object with object nil and space after delay after delay ns time interval and here in the interval we just type in how long you want this uh, activity indicator to turn around so I'll just type in 5 seconds and remember to put the dot O close the bracket semicolon enter and so our error is gone so we almost done now we just need to implement this my method that we declared in the selector space so after the view did load let's do our void definition of this dash bracket void close bracket Hold on. dash bracket void close bracket and let's name this my method so what's gonna happen is whatever you type here is gonna happen after the uh, activity indicator is done turning so that's why we put my method in the selector so the selector is basically what happens when the when the activity indicator is done loading. So in my method we are going to type in label dot text is equal. Okay now this is just my tutorial. You can put whatever code you want here. It's just going to do this when the activity indicator is done loading. So my uh, label dot text will be equal to app loaded. Loaded. Um, 
semicolon, enter. And that's pretty much it. That's how simple it is. Now, before we can run the app, we'll of course need to design it. Our XIB is empty now. And I hate this gray background. I wonder why Apple makes this the default background. So let's change this to blue. Ugly color. And in our sidebar here, let's take the activity indicator view. Put this right here. And let's click it. Behavior, tick animating and tick hide when stopped oh we don't need this actually since our code is doing that for us and in the style let's type in um, just let it be gray you can change all these other stuff here you can even change the background of it to green or something like that okay, let's just get this back to our default one okay, you can customize that um, I think this white is going to just off. So let's change this to blue. Blue's gonna look good. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now putting this blue here will make it look very dirty. So let's remove that. Okay. Let's just run our app and see if it's working. Oh, before that, we really forgot one of the most important things. Let's take the label, drag the label, place it right here. Double tap, remove all the text of it. Centerize it, make it much bigger. And let's place it right here. Okay, now let's right click on our files owner. And let's take label, join that to label indicator goes to indicator done let's build and run build succeeded and you can see our activity indicator is turning uploaded but you see it's not stopping after this so what we have to do is tell Xcode to stop the turning effect after my method is completed so let's go to view controller M and here in my method let's open bracket and type in indicator space stop animating stop animating close bracket semicolon and that's all so when it's after five seconds when it's done turning it's gonna just stop animating it's turning there we go but you see it looks weird if it just stops like that so we need to hide it what we're gonna do is enter indicator dot hidden equal to yes it's gonna be hidden after my method is triggered so the indicator is turning now and after five seconds it says uploaded and it disappears so I think that should do for the tutorial of activity indicator in Xcode this is one of the simplest things I keep saying that but it is one of the simplest thing you just need to type in this thing and your method that's all that's all it's needed so i'll catch you in the next tutorial guys if you'd like to request any tutorials put them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe rate and comment i'll catch you in the next video bye